Welcome to Zoho Vault, an online password management solution that can make your digital life simple and secure. This video will give you an overview of Zoho Vault's capabilities and how to get started. The first step in getting started is to create a super admin account in Zoho Vault. You can create an account easily from our homepage, follow the instructions there, and then invite other users to join the account. If you reside in the European Union, make sure you create an account from our EU portal. During account setup, you'll create a strong passphrase, also called a master key, which will be used to encrypt all your data. Zoho will not save this passphrase anywhere. On Zoho Vault's web interface, you can see tabs like dashboard, secrets, tools, settings, password assessment report, audit, and admin and reports. The Admin and Reports tab will only be available to admins and super admins. Before you go on from here, you should take a moment to finish configuring your account. After creating your account, go to the Sharing Secrets tab underneath the Settings page, click on the Initiate Sharing button, and complete the handshake process. Only after completing this task, you, the super admin, will be able to share passwords with other users. Password sharing has to be approved for all users and administrators once the password sharing process is initiated, any administrator can approve the sharing request from users. In order for a user to share secrets with others, they need to initiate sharing and get approval from an admin. You should create accounts for other users who will be using Zoho Vault. There are three ways to add users to Zoho Vault. You can send them an email invitation to manually add them by going to the Users tab and clicking the Add User button. You can import users from corporate identity stores like Windows Active Directory using the AD slash LDAP integration tab on the admin page. Or you can import users from a cloud-based Office solution like G Suite or Office 365. Soon after inviting or importing users, you should group them for easy management. This will help you share secrets in bulk based on users' roles, departments, or organization units. You can do this at any time by clicking the Add button in the User Groups tab under the Admin page. You should also assign roles to users. There are three predefined roles in Zoho Vault, Super Admin, Admin, and User. For individuals who have a Super Admin or Admin account at the Zoho Accounts level, they will be automatically designated as a Super Admin in Zoho Vault. They have the exclusive privilege to invite other users to join Zoho Vault, as well as change the role of other users and acquire secrets from users. However, exclusive privilege does not allow them to view a password. Zoho Vault works on the principle of password ownership and sharing. The individual who adds a password to the product will automatically become the owner of that password. Only the owner is able to view and modify a password. If an owner wants to share their password, they can do so using the share button. Users designated as admin can carry out general administrative operations like approving secret sharing requests from users or defining password policies. General user accounts will not be able to perform these admin operations. The next step in setting up your Zoho Vault account is adding passwords. In Zoho Vault, passwords are referred to as secrets. There are two ways to add secrets to the secrets page. They can be manually added using the add button or they can be imported from other files using the Tools section. Passwords can be imported from standard CSV files or from files exported from other password managers. While adding secrets, you can add other attributes like secret name, type, description, a URL for auto login, tags for easy search, and custom fields. You can also add attributes at any time by clicking on that particular secret on the All Secrets page. You can also group secrets of the same type into folders called Chambers in Zoho Vault. You can do so by clicking the Add Chamber button in the Chambers tab underneath the Secrets page. Under Action, you can use the Share option to share secrets with other users, user groups, or with outsiders like a contractor. You can also set access privileges for sharing secrets. The one-click login only privilege allows secrets to be shared without displaying them in plain text. This restricts users to only perform auto logins. The view privilege allows secrets to be shared in plain text. The modify privilege allows secrets to be viewed and modified. The manage privilege allows secrets to be viewed, modified, have their attributes modified, and to be shared with others. 
You can also control access for highly sensitive passwords by configuring access controls under more actions. Once access control is configured for a secret, users will have to raise a request to see it. An administrator can approve the request, then the secret will be released for viewing for a limited time. Explore more features by clicking the More Actions button underneath the All Secrets page. For secrets with a URL associated with them, they can be used to automatically log into websites. This can be done by clicking the Auto Login button under Actions without entering the password every single time. You can configure SAML-based SSO and help users automatically log in to their everyday cloud apps in a single click. Zoho Vault provides out-of-the-box support for a growing list of apps. You can also add any other apps using the custom app option. For enhanced productivity, we suggest installing our browser extensions and using our mobile apps. The browser extension for Chrome and Firefox allows most password operations to be formed directly from your browser. The mobile apps for iOS and Android allow you to access passwords as well as approve and deny password access requests from anywhere at any time. Zoho Vault records all sensitive operations carried out on passwords with details on the who, what, and when of each operation. This audit trail is also tamper-proof and cannot be deleted. Moreover, audit details are split into four types, secrets, chambers, users, and miscellaneous audit each to provide clarity and convenience to administrators. To view these audit logs, go to Audit underneath Admin. Click on each tab to view each audit report. Each audit report has its own individual tab. Zoho Vault provides intuitive reports with easy-to-understand tables and graphs, which show up-to-date snapshots on the status and summaries of various activities related to password management. Administrators can run these reports and figure out which password management policies need to be addressed. Users can only access the password assessment report. Currently, there are seven reports available. The user access report gives you an overview of who has access to what secrets. The secret access report helps you identify who has access to a particular secret. The chamber access report helps you find information on the chambers used within your organization. The sharing report gives you an overview of the secrets shared with users, user groups, and outsiders. The password security analysis report analyzes the overall security of your organization's passwords. The unchanged passwords report displays a list of passwords that have remained unchanged for a while. The password access report helps you identify who has access to a password since it's been changed last. A reliable backup mechanism is crucial for disaster recovery purposes. Zoho Vault provides an option to do a periodic backup of secrets owned by you and send them to you as an encrypted HTML file. You can configure this by navigating to Admin, Data Backup, and clicking Enable Backup. Zoho Vault comes with a break glass account for emergency access. This helps you tackle critical situations and access any password in the organization. This account can be configured from the Emergency Access tab under Settings. Zoho Vault allows you to access your passwords securely even when you're offline. You can download your passwords in the form of a secure, encrypted HTML file and carry them around with you. To do so, click Offline Access under the Tools tab. From here, use the Download button to download your offline copy. This offline copy can be opened with any standard HTML-enabled browser. Admins can configure Zoho Vault to send them notifications whenever a specific password-related event occurs. They can also send notifications to a list of selected recipients when events like a secret addition, retrieval, modification, or deletion occurs. To set up notifications, go to Audit, Notifications, and click the Add button. Admins can also send email notifications to users whenever the passwords are about to expire. By default, password owners will be notified three days in advance and every day going forward until their password expires. To set up password expiration reminders, navigate to Audit, Expiry Alerts, and clicking Enable Secret Expiry Notification and Alerts. As an additional layer of security, we always recommend using two-factor authentication. This forces users to go through two successive stages of authentication before logging in. 
To set up two-factor authentication, click Enforce TFA under the admin page. If you wish to enforce tighter restrictions on users, you can configure fine-grained controls available in the admin page and do the following. Restrict users from storing personal secrets. Restrict users from exporting secrets. Restrict offline access to secrets. Restrict access to secrets through the mobile app. Restrict users from sharing secrets with outsiders. Allow users to paste passphrases. Hide user-defined secret types from global view. Restrict users from adding new secrets. Restrict users from sharing secrets. And enable IP restriction. Administrator accounts can create, configure, and enforce password policies to users based on their own internal IT standards. They have three options for password policies. They can use the default policy for all secrets, which allows users to add their own passwords or generate a password with a password generator based on the default policy. They can enforce the default policy for all secrets, which forces users to generate a password with a password generator based on the default policy, or they can allow users to select their own policy. Establishing password policies will help users generate and use only passwords that match your organization's policy. After completing the above list of basic configurations, you can get started with basic features like adding passwords and sharing them with other users and user groups. Thanks for watching the video. We hope we covered most of the product features. If you have any questions, just send an email to support at zohovault.com.